What's going on everybody? It is Juan from Raven Drone Solutions. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the importance of having people in your corner as an entrepreneur. Now, this is not always possible, but it is something that I think is very important. Now, my motivation for this video was a conversation that I had with an old professor of mine uh, from when I was in university. Uh, I'll fill you in on that uh, here in a little bit. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right to it. So one of the many things that uh, I realized very quickly, and I kind of knew this already uh, when I started my journey as an entrepreneur, is the fact that, look, you're going to be lonely a lot. There's not going to be, you know, you're not going to have a team of cheerleaders, uh, you know, rooting for you every single time. Okay. As a matter of fact, a lot of times you're going to be alone. Now, in my case, I am far from alone. Um, I have my wife who, you know, even though she's my harshest critic, she is one of the most supportive people I know. And she has helped me out in a lot of ways. I mean, we're talking, you know, she does my website. She does a lot of my content creation with the exception of, of YouTube. Um, but I mean, she is out there every day working with me. Um, I mean, we're talking sometimes we're up until midnight, you know, uh, trying to trying to hash out things, trying to post uh, stuff, you know, and, and, and really making our business look as, as professional as possible. Um, you know, but, and she's, in, she's one of the most supportive people I know, but I mean, she doesn't shy away from telling me, telling me exactly what she thinks. I mean, the other thing is she's Russian, so she's very blunt about pretty much everything. Uh, you know, but I think it's important. Also, I mean, my dad, my dad hosts me out with, uh, editing videos for some of my clients. Um, you know, he also helps me out in other ways. My sister also very supportive. A lot of my family has also been extremely supportive, you know, which is kind of a surprise because sometimes I thought they would be like, look, do you think this is a good idea? Do you think that, you know, maybe you're, uh, in the wrong industry or do you think maybe that, you know, you could do something better or, or why don't you just get a job? Not really. As a matter of fact, a lot of my, a lot of my family has been very supportive and, and I'm talking extended family, um, not just here in the States, but you know, abroad, uh, they've also been very supportive. Um, you know, a lot of my, uh, a lot of my friends, uh, but actually it's crazy because one of my best friends, which I love the guy to death, we've been best friends for 25 years. Yes. I'm that old. Um, you know, he actually was like, look, you know, it's not that I don't support you. It's just, I don't know if this is the right idea or, you know, maybe you should just get a job like a nine to five work a security gig. Cause you know, that's kind of our, both our backgrounds. Um, and I know he means well, love the guy to death. I mean, Roger, if you're watching, I love you, buddy. Uh, but you know, it's, it's just, yeah, like it's, it's a different perspective. Um, I'm not saying he's not in my corner. It's just the fact that, you know, he, he thinks that, you know, maybe I should be doing this either part-time or maybe I should focus on something else. Um, you know, he's like, look, I don't know if you want to do that here. Miami is very, you know, it's very, you know, nepotistic and this, that, and the other. And a lot of people, they, they're very, uh, they're huge penny pinchers and stuff like that. So I don't know if this is a good idea, you know, and I, I took, a, I, you know, obviously took it into consideration, but clearly I'm doing everything that I need to be doing. Um, you know, it's not easy. Uh, but yeah, the other thing is that I actually called up an old professor of mine, um, that I, that I knew when I was, when I was in university and this guy is very well connected with government, the military and stuff like that. Um, you know, we, he was in charge of a program, uh, back in, uh, back when I was in university that I did, and it was on national security. We did a lot of really cool uh, exercise and programs, conferences, stuff like that. Um, so I'm very well versed in that, in that field. And, you know, I wanted to call him up because I just wanted to know what he thought and, you know, if he might be able to help me out in certain areas because, uh, you know, as with any business, you know, look, it's, it's a lot of work and a lot of times, you know, things, you get a lot of setbacks and everything. And, you know, that's, that's not, I'm not unique in, in any way that happens to almost everybody. Well, uh, you know, it's crazy because I sat down with him and I kind of thought, all right, you know, maybe he's gonna give me an earful of, you know, look, you know, do you really think this is a smart idea or, you know, I could have gotten you a job somewhere or why don't you just do government, play the safe route, you know, have your, you know, your 401k, your pension and all that stuff. And actually it's funny. He gave me the exact opposite. He was like, dude, man, I followed you uh, basically since you started I followed your, your progress and, you know, damn dude, like you're doing some really cool stuff. I'm like, yeah, but you know, I mean, it like, it's just, it, 
I mean, obviously, as with everything, it takes time, and and you know, it's just you know, sometimes I don't know. Like you know, obviously, everybody, you know, we all got our doubts. Um, and he's like, look, man, the fact is, you took the road that very few people are willing to take. Um, you know, and, and me and him, we speak very frankly because he was actually a former Marine as well. Uh, and, you know, we shared a lot of really funny stories back and forth, stories that you probably wouldn't tell other students. Uh, you know, and me and him, we would, I'd go into his office, you know, sometimes we'd, we'd, you know, have some drinks and chill and talk about, you know, all the, all the shenanigans that, that, <laughs> that we're guilty of when, you know, uh, you know, back in, back in the old days. Um, you know, but actually it's funny. He was like, look, dude, like, you know, um, let me see how I can help you. Let me see if there's something I can do for you. But, you know, don't go and get a nine to five or whatever. Like, you know, do everything you got to do, man. Because look, I, I, I know what you're going through. My family's entrepreneurial. You know, there was times where we didn't even know if, if we were going to be able to pay bills, but we made it happen. And, and he's like, I know you can do it. You know, I've seen a lot of the work that you've done. You have a lot of experience in, in, in different areas. You know, you can definitely make this work. And I, you know, we actually went through some ideas, um, you know, some both like government and not non-government related. And, you know, he was very open uh, to, 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 to discussing it. And, you know, we hashed some ideas out and he was like, look, yeah, like, I think, I think you're in the right track. It's just, you know, it's just a matter of pivoting to wherever you want to pivot. And I might pivot my business a little bit, uh, you know, because, uh, some things that, some things that I'm noticing, but, um, in general, yeah, he was quite, he was quite pleased with what I was doing. And, you know, the reality is guys, um, you're not always going to have people in your corner and you have to be ready for that. And, and, you know, I, he told me this as well as a lot of other people told me, it's like, dude, what you're doing is not for the faint of heart. It's a lot of people are going to doubt you. A lot of people are going to tell you you're, you're, you can't do it. A lot of people are going to, or they're going to be very negative. You know, uh, there's going to be a lot of people telling, you, no, you're going to get a lot of rejection. If you're a guy, you know what rejection is because the majority of us, you know, when we started to branch out and like, you know, we try to hit on girls or whatever, we get rejected all the time. As an entrepreneur, it's even worse. You're going to get rejected a lot. It happens. It happens to me all the time, but it's something that you got to keep pushing forward. You got to, it builds that fortitude, you know, it's like, okay, they didn't like, they didn't like my pitch. They didn't like my plan. They didn't like my business, op uh, my business idea. Okay. Well, maybe I got to go back to the drawing board and, and, and think of something better. Um, I mean, regardless of whether that happens or not, you just, you need thick skin, uh, to be an entrepreneur and something that I'm working on, uh, because before I didn't really have a whole lot of thick skin. Um, but you know, when you have people in your corner, when you have people that not just, not just cheer you on, but that tell you the truth and tell you what they really think, uh, and give you that constructive criticism, that is priceless because the last thing I would want is for people to be blowing smoke up my butt. And then, you know, when it fails and I ask them, why didn't you tell me what was really happening? And they're like, look, I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. That is not what I want. That is, I know that's probably not what you want. I would yeah, that would piss me off more, you know? So for me, I'd rather have people tell me the truth. And, you know, for me, I'm, I think I'm very fortunate that I have people in my corner. I have people that, that are uh, cheering for me. I have people that, um, you know, they're willing to tell me the truth. I got people that, you know, they have looked at my business, they've, they've seen what I've done and they're like, look, dude, I think you got something very tangible. Um, you know, you just gotta keep pushing. And, you know, I think it's great that when you have people in your corner, I think that you have to be ready for people to not to be in your corner. You have to be ready to go at it alone. Um, and you have to just keep pushing, you know, you're, it's not going to be instant, instant success. Um, but you know, having people that, uh, care about you and support you and they're, they're willing to give you a hand and not just family. I mean, I've come across several people, other, you know, I'm part of networking, uh, groups and some of these people have looked at my website, looked at my business and they're like, look, dude, I think you got a, I think you got a very good start. I think you got a very good thing going. Um, you know, let me see how I can help you push it forward. And I think that's fantastic. Um, you know, you don't have to go at it completely by yourself. You can ask for help. You can ask for advice. I've sure as hell have asked for advice by many people. 
I've asked advice from other entrepreneurs as well. Um, you know, I've, I'm part of other uh, communities, mostly online, but that are for entrepreneurs and they offer, I mean, you know, guys bounce ideas off each other. Um, and that's something that I do. I've, I've presented some, some people say, Hey, I think it's really cool. Other people said, look, man, maybe you need to tweak a few things because I didn't really know what, what your business was or whatever the case might be. Um, either way, I always, I always take every criticism, um, you know, with a grain of salt, but I like to at least learn and listen. Uh, but anyway. Um, that is just my thoughts. I think that, uh, you know, I think having people in your corner is a very powerful and very beautiful thing. And I think that you should definitely seek out people that, that support you, but that are willing to be honest with you. Um, because a lot of times it doesn't happen. Um, and I think that entrepreneurship is a very cool thing. It's, I mean, not, I'm sorry, not a very cool thing. I think it's a very beautiful thing but it is something that it is an uphill battle for a lot of people and i'm not an exception on this um but having people in your corner having people that love you and care about you um i think that's very important and i think that you know when you uh when you have those people it makes all the difference it makes it a whole lot easier and you know you really feel a lot more motivated to keep pushing so anyway, guys, that is it for today. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, share any stories that you might have in this regard if you think if, uh, if you've been through something similar. Anyways, guys, that is it for today. 